Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Max McAllister from Traction Dynamics uh, here with one of my craziest videos I've ever made. Um, so no rapping this time. Sorry, I don't have music out here. I guess I could have put the stereo on, but uh, probably second only to standing on the handlebars is uh, going to be the video where I've removed the right-hand tie rod from a 2018 Goldwing because I want to see how difficult it is to control the motorcycle as it's designed from Honda. So let's uh, start by kind of reviewing um, the structure of the front end of the motorcycle. So there's two tie rods on the bike and uh, the right tie rod is completely rigidly mounted like you would find in any steering system in the world. Its job as you move the steering wheel is to turn the yoke, steering yoke on the front of the bike and move the front wheel. Uh, in the case, since there's only one tie rod, in the case of only one tie rod, let's say, if for some reason that tie rod were to come loose, fall off, break in some way, um, and in other words, catastrophically fail, then the rider would be left with completely no connection to the front wheel of the motorcycle and no way to steer or control the bike. Uh, you'd be only able to, the bike would stand up straight and go straight uh, if the tie rod failed until you were able to somehow stop it with the brakes or it hit a solid fixed object. So Honda's smart enough to know that they didn't want that to ever happen. So uh, in the, I don't even know what the odds are, but uh, astronomical odds that the right tie rod ever broke and failed. Honda has attached a second tie rod to the left-hand side of the bike um, to uh, offer the rider some level of control in the event of a catastrophic failure of the right-hand tie rod. So again, I want to sort of preface this video. This is a, a fun experiment. In no way, read my lips, in no way am I trying to scare you uh, or insinuate that the tie rod is going to break. I don't believe for a second the right hand tie rod is going to break. But it could happen. So uh, as far as nuts and bolts coming off, uh, Honda has used a locking nut on both of the, on all of the fasteners. So even if a fastener comes loose, it uh, won't fall off. Uh, I'll come a little closer. So. Unfortunately, there's a train going by the building, so it's going to get loud for about for a few minutes here. Uh, so then, so they've got locking fasteners on the tie rods, and uh, that should prevent the nuts from ever. So that's not going to happen. Uh, next possibility is the tie rod breaking somewhere at one of the adjusting nuts or bolts, um, which is a possibility. So uh, there's threads and nuts and those things can break and fail. Uh, it's extremely unlikely. Honda has, you know, again, decades of experience building ATVs and things with tie rod systems. They know that their products are reliable. So again, not saying this is going to happen. I'm just curious, just call it idle curiosity as to what would happen. Now, uh, the right tie rod is the one controlling the system um, and any lash or looseness you feel in tie rod ends, you're going to feel on the right hand side. Uh, people believe there's some way to adjust this out. Uh, that's not possible and I'm going to explain to you why. On the Goldwing, I've already showed you in other videos, the left tie rod is mounted in a very soft rubber bushing. This nut is not loose. This is how the motorcycle is designed from Honda. So what they've done is they've put this that tie rod in in a real floppy loose bushing so that no additional wear is in, is placed upon the tie rod ends on the right so technically if you were to uh, uh, if all four tie rods are rigidly mounted and you have poorly adjusted one you could actually put tension on all four tie rod ends and cause them all to accelerate wear out in an accelerated fashion so Honda didn't want any increased wear on the right-hand tie rod, so they put this. Now, uh, from my viewpoint, this is extreme. They could have done something a little different. 
that wasn't quite so floppy. Because in my, now the question is, let's just pretend you're that unlucky bastard, right? You're the guy who does have, you know, the one in, uh, you know, 19 blue moons uh, tie rod failure. Now what you're left to control the bike is this, the left hand tie rod in this floppy bushing. So my experiment here today is just to see is how hard would it be to control the Honda Goldwing, 2018 Honda Goldwing, in the event that the tie, right tie rod fell off, failed, broke, or otherwise stopped doing its job. So if you come around, you'll see I have removed the tie rod from the right hand side of this Goldwing. And uh, so it is no longer there. And I'm going to go ride this motorcycle around for a minute. So this is why the experiment, you're going to say this is uh, crazier than pretty much most things I've done. Here's what the steering now looks like. So what's happening here is, if you come look, this the steering moves about three inches before the tie rod engages and will move the steering on the bike. So all of this is just wackiness that you would have to deal with in the event that ever happened. So, uh, I'm gonna ride this around. Uh, just from here, you're just gonna kind of watch and see what it looks like. Um, I did ride it a little bit before this just to make sure I wasn't gonna die, so to speak. Uh, I'm a, an avid cyclist. I'm extremely comfortable uh, balancing on a, you know, a two-wheel vehicle without it moving at all. I don't even have to be moving to balance on them as a rule, so uh, my success on this would be better than most people attempting this in any way so just so I just want to preface it with that uh, what I did find is as long as the bike goes ahead and starts turning uh, to where it flops over and the steering can flop all the way with it then you can control it pretty good so making a figure eight not so bad attempting to make the motorcycle go straight is extremely difficult not because the motorcycle doesn't want to go straight but because uh, uh, your uh, subconscious mind is desperately trying to find connection to the front wheel and uh, so your arms will be flapping around wildly trying to get the bike to respond in some way and it's very very difficult to control uh, so and when you do get to one of the limits of the steering one side or the other your input tends to be too extreme so uh, if you were the poor guy whose tie rod ever failed, you would not get a chance to practice this. But I'll kind of show you some of what it looks like. And I'm only going to go, you know, 10 miles an hour. I'm not even going to go 10 miles an hour, but just so you can get a look here. So. front of the bike and let me just show the wheel what this looks like. So, anyway, that's kind of what it would look like. 
in the event of a an emergency that Honda has planned for. Uh, I sure I just wish they had uh, put a little more rigid bushing there because then the motorcycle could be operated completely normally. Um, you know, one of my intentions was to kind of ride the bike uh, faster, but having done this experiment here, and I this was my what you just saw was my second time riding the bike with the tie rod off of it. Uh, I'm completely, totally unwilling to go out and. One of my ideas was I just wanted to see if I could ride it from 65 miles an hour and decelerate safely and stop, but uh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so my own uh, sanity dictates that I'm not going to do that. Um, so anyway, there's my fun, odd experiment at a look at a safety design or backup system built into the new Goldwing. And uh, uh, now you can talk amongst yourselves. Let's see what people have to say about this video. <laughs> Thanks a lot. This is Max. Don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends.